Okay, good evening. We are about to start with today's class. Um, <clears throat> we're going to wait a minute for the rest of the students. Um, we're going to go to the slide presentation for today's class. Just give me a minute. Okay, good evening. Good evening, Carlos. How are you? <laughs> okay. I think audio is connected. Hello, hello, how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, really nice. Cool, thanks for being on time. <laughs> okay, nice, awesome. Okay, Carlos, did you work today? What? Did you work today? <laughs> Sí, espérate que no. Excuse me, excuse me, no, no tengo audio, permítame. Ok, ok, it's all right, I'm gonna wait a minute. Ahora sí, hoy sí. Ok, did you work today, Carlos? Um, este, it's very hard ah, in okay. my work. Ok, that's good, nice. Good evening, Morgan. Okay, Marvin, turn on the... Uh, oh, wait. Good, good yeah. evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, good. Awesome, right? Okay, let's see. What happened uh, in yesterday's class, Marvin? <laughs> good, teacher. Okay, nice. Do you have any question about the previous class? Um, eh, si se puede dar eh, una explicación nuevamente del so y el such que estuve viendo ah, el video porque no me okay. pude conectar ayer ok, that's good, uh, let me see I'm gonna try to explain you here, right? ok, yesterday class we were talking about so and such basically this is similar to this very, very, right? Es como que si fuese muy o tan. Muy eh, o tan. Yeah. In this way, so or such is an emphasis. You give an emphasis in a sentence, right? Damos un emphasis en una oración. <coughs> ¿Sí? Eh, both mean the same. Ambos significan... Excelente, muy bien. Mm, ok, ok, yeah. But ambos significan the same. So and such significan lo mismo. Ah, ok, lo mismo. Ok, that's good. It's similar to very. But uh, we need to know when we are going to use so and when we are going to use such, right? We need to know that. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, let's see. We got an example of so. So we're gonna use plus an adjective. Esa es la formula. That's the formula, right? For example, eh, okay, let's see. An adjective, uh, give me an adjective, please. Irving. Adjective, um, Anson. Handsome, okay. Uh, it's an example, right? <laughs> okay, he is so handsome. Handsome, right? Handsome, like this. Handsome. Okay, like, like this, right? He's so handsome. Uh, él es como demasiado o tan guapo. Okay, mm -hmm. the formula here is so plus an adjective. 
Aquí tenemos so plus an adjective, un adjetivo de calificativo, right? Uh -huh. eh, so está dando un emphasis to this. Okay, now let's see such. Such, the formula is simple, right? We get an adjective, adjective, and plus a noun, plus a verb, etc. right? <clears throat> okay, ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar such? Casi similar, solo que cuando utilizamos such, agregamos un eh, nombre o algo extra. For example, eh, that is a such and some man, for example, right? Okay, veamos aquí, Morbid, eh, we got a such, agregamos un adjective, handsome, y luego un noun, un nombre. Entonces, cuando lleva más estructuras, como un nombre o un artículo, eh, vamos a utilizar such. Okay. Yep. Esa es la única diferencia. Y so, si solo vamos a decir un adjetivo rápido y preciso. Por ejemplo, she is so pretty. She is so pretty, right? Uh -huh. She is so pretty. Ella es muy bonita. She is so pretty. She is so pretty. Right? Like this. Mm -hmm. if, but if you want to say a uh, long expression, for example, uh, my your girlfriend is such a pretty lady. Y continúa agregando más cosas. Entonces, we're going to use such. And so, it's simple, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's the difference. But, uh, we get a previous, um, when we get a previous knowledge about this, adjectives, adjective plus noun plus verb, uh, we're going to have a special things like countable and uncountable nouns. Tenemos los contables y los no contables. Contables are, let me see, many. Many. Okay, then we have much like this. In this way, yeah, we're going to use so. So many people, for example. Aquí sí, Marvin. Vamos a utilizar eh, esa estructura como que si fuera such. Pero en el caso exclusivo de many and much, que este es countable, this is uncountable. For example, so much sugar. For example, or so much sweet. Like this. So much sweet. Demasiado dulce. Demasiado dulce. Entonces acá si agregamos un nombre porque estamos utilizando much or many, uncountable and uncountable now. En ese caso exclusivo. You got it? Yeah, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. That's the advantage of being on time, right? Okay, good evening, Gabriela Merari. How are you today? Okay, <laughs> how are you? <clears throat> okay, I think uh, we are having trouble with the internet connection. Okay, don't worry. Uh, what about you, Daisy? How are you today? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, my day. Very cool. Okay. Don't worry. Um, you know, you get a gift that is our life, right? It's a gift from the Lord. Our life. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Jose Angel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I am okay, teacher. Okay, really nice. 
Thank you, Jose Angel. No? Okay, let's see. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, Mary, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. You're fine, fire. It's fine and tired. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> also, really good. Okay, uh, we are about to start with today's class. We're gonna go to the slide presentation, right? And please don't forget to write your full name. Okay, I'm gonna do it by Escribamos ahí, chicos. Your full name. The class is a requirement. That's good. Okay, give me a minute. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, sure. Okay, good evening, Miguel. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? It's very busy. Okay, I can't imagine, right? Okay, <laughs> that's good. Don't worry. Uh, we're going to learn something new today. So that's why we are going to start with today's class. Let's get a start with this. Okay, here we go. Nice. Basically, students, uh, we are about to finish uh, this module, right? Within number four, accounting. And we're going to make a feedback about yesterday's class. We were discussing about so and such, so and such. In which case you can use so. Um, when are you going to use so? Did you remember? Tanto. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Muy y tan. Muy o tan. Uh, cualquiera de las dos, right? But when we are going to use so, when? After an uh, uh, adjective. No, before okay. an adjective. Before an adjective. Thank you, Miguel. And what about such? Uh, after, no, uh, before, before an article and a name. A name or adjective, right? Yeah, really good. Okay, the difference between both, basically, <laughs> so we can use with an adjective. That's it. In such, we're gonna use it uh, with a article, adjective, nouns, verbs, and so on, right? That's good. Here we go. Um, okay, what we're gonna do right now? Uh, we're gonna make a feedback about this. Uh, you have to give an example according to the picture, right? Okay, good evening, Fabricio. How are you? Good evening, teacher. My How friend, thank you. Okay, nice, cool. Okay, here we go, right? Uh, we're gonna um, put some picture here, and you have to give me an example using so or such. Ready? Okay, nice. Here we go. What about this one? What is this adjective? Sad. Sad, right? Uh, can you give me an example using sad, Marvin? You can use so or such, whatever you want. Um, let me see. Um, okay. uh, no sé si estará bien. Uh, That was girl uh, sad. Okay, that was okay. Okay, again, again. I'm sorry. Let me see, teacher. Um, uh, that that girl uh, is sad. Okay, the girl is is. 
is what is <laughs> okay, Marvin. Uh, we got the adjective right, sad. Este es el adjetivo, sad. Entonces, we can use so or such before the adjective. So, Antes sad. Del adjetivo. Yeah. Sad. So, sad. Again, again. She, she. That. Uh -huh, the girl. The girl. Uh, so sad. Okay, okay, but it's missing the verb be. The girl is. The girl is so sad. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Marvin. Like this. Okay, remember that so is just an emphasis. So es solo un emphasis, right? Tan. Ah, esta chica estaba muy ahí. A suicida in ese momento. Okay, but we're gonna pass with this emoji, right? This adjective because it's bad for you. Okay, uh, what about this one? What is this? Happy. Happy, really good. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, uh, Daisy, can you give me an example using happy? Well, it Okay. Um, what what is the question? Okay, Daisy. Uh, basically, you see, this is an adjective, right? Happy. This is an adjective. Es un adjetivo. Entonces. We are going to use so or such with this adjective. Vamos a utilizar cualquiera de estos dos con este eh, adjetivo que es happy. ¿Puede formularme una sentence using so or such? Um, we... Yeah. Um, We, okay. um, nosotros, uh -huh. we, we happy in the, in the party. Okay, yeah, yeah. We are happy in the party, right? We are happy in the party. Yeah, very good, Daisy. Pero le hace falta uno de esos dos. So or so. such. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tiene que utilizarlo antes del adjective. Adjective. Yeah. We are so happy in the party. Yeah, really good, like this, right? Okay, thank you, Daisy. Hey, remember, guys, that you're gonna use so and such. So plus an adjective, that's it. A exception if you're gonna use countable or uncountable now, many or much. Ahí sí vamos a utilizar so plus many or much. A plus an adjective, plus a noun, whatever you want. But such es cuando damos una descripción más larga. Yeah? Eh, tiene un énfasis mayor. Okay, thank you. Really good. Uh, we're going to continue with today's class because of the time. And good evening, everybody. Again, Jorge, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Okay, nice. Cool. Marlo, what about you? How are you? Very good, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Wendy, you look happy. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hola. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, I hope so, right? Okay, Tatiana, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Okay, nice, cool. Carlos Reme, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I find you. Okay, I'm really good. Thanks for asking. Okay, Carlos Reme, if you can turn on the webcam, will be nice, right? Everybody miss you here. Miss to see your face. 
Oke, okay, nice. <laughs> Oke, okay, that's good. Uh, Oke, okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna start with today's class. With this is module number four, right? Uh, basic. And the topic for today's class will be, yesterday we were talking about how to use so and such. In today's class, we're gonna talk about, how do you say this? Okay. How do you say that? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let me see, Fabrizio. How do you say this topic? Erundius. Okay. Yeah. In English. Gerons. Gerons, very, very good, or infinitive, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Marvin, can you help me to read the specific objective, please? A specific. Yeah. Particip participant will be able to describe why the cash flow cycle, cycle, cycle of company if necessary in the de development of it. Of it, yeah, really good, thank you. Okay, today we're gonna continue uh, 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 talking about cash flow cycle, right, in a company. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jorge, can you help me to read the second objective, please? Class objective. Okay. At the end of the class, participant will be able to know how to use uh, Gerald, uh, in... Yeah, yeah, thank you, Gerald. Really good. Okay, basically, uh, today we're going to talk about cash flow and Gerald, right? Okay, because of the time, we're going to run quickly and we got uh, useful words. We're going to see cash flow. Cash flow. What does it mean, cash flow? Cash flow. Flujo de efectivo. Flujo de efectivo. Yeah, really nice. Okay, flujo de efectivo. We got a, uh, this vocabulary for you, right? Rate of return. Rate of return. What does it mean? Tasa del retorno. Okay, yeah, thank you. Really good. Okay, what about asset? Asset. 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 Do you Activo. have an idea? I'm sorry? Activos. Yeah, activos. Really good. Asset. Activo. Muy bien. Thank you. Analysis. Eso está bien difícil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the same, right? <laughs> analysis. Analysis. Okay. Analysis, analysis. This one. Money. Dinero. Money. Dinero. Money. Ese es no monkey, vale. no mo, is ma, money, money. Vale. Money, yeah. Money. Good. No es money. <laughs> it's not money, it's money. <laughs> it's money. Okay. okay, it's investment. Inversión. Inversión. Yeah, Inversión. Cool. Nice. Inversión. Accounting. Contabilidad. Yeah. Cuenta. The, the most beautiful job, right? The trabajo más hermoso que hay. So, eso es so. Days in memory, a smile, you know, got a big smile in her face. <laughs> Business. Negocio. Yeah, cool. Businessman. Measurement. Measurement. Medidas. Medidas. Yeah. Medidas. Medidas or alcances and so on, right? Good. Okay, nice. You got it, right? You got all these words. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna mention again uh, in order to understand the pronunciation of this word: cash flow, measurement, business, accounting, investment, money. Uh, analysis, asset, rate of return, right? 
Okay, do you have any questions about this? No Be questions? Sure. Be yeah. sure. Investment. Investment, yes. Okay, thank you. Investment. You're welcome. Okay. ¿Qué significaba, teacher? Which one? Investment. Investment, sí, yes. Uh, inversión. Ah, okay, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, uh, let's continue with this. Okay, right now we're going to go to the attendant list. Okay, here we go. The most important part for you. Okay, just give me a minute, right? Yeah, sure. Here we go. Okay, like this way. Okay, uh, let me see. Hi, Ernesto, Hernandez Navarrete. I know, right? Hello. Uh, Carlos Enrique Martinez Genoles. Present teacher. Okay, thank you for that. Wendy Saray Bonilla Ordoñez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Jose Angel Santos Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, One moment, teacher. Ya regreso. Okay. Gabriela Mary Zamora Orellana. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. Uh, Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Alfonso Alvarado Hernández. Uh, not yet. Fernando de Jesús Roldán. Not yet. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Carlos, no way. Okay. Uh, William Alexander Martinez Enriquez. No, it's not here yet. We got a problem with the uh, internet connection, I think. Uh, Miguel Angel Lopez Crespin. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Marlon Ernesto Rodriguez Sandoval. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla. No, right. Okay, Daisy Elizabeth Racino Alvarez. Present teacher. Really good. Tatiana Ivonne Torres. I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Carlos René Herrera. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Fabricio Alexander Jimenez Herrera. I hear teacher. Okay, thank you, Fabricio. You are continuing uh, the big box, right? Okay, nice. <laughs> Fabricio lleva ahí la, la asistencia impe impecable. Okay, nice. Cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're gonna continue with today's class. And we're gonna see the previous vocabulary. As you see, these classes are really important for you guys because we're gonna see uh, vocabulary related to accounting. Accounting, right? Okay, so that's why we're gonna uh, have a previous vocabulary. Okay, income statement. What is this? Income statement. Did you remember? Income statement. What is that? Increíble. Estado de resultados. Ok, yeah, really good. Eh, estado de resultados, muy bien. Eh, solo incomes. Solo income sí significa ingresos. Solo incomes. Pero income statements, estado de, res de resultado. Ok, let's see this one. Equity statement. What is this? Uh -huh. Did you remember? Equity statement. Equity statement. Completo mm. income statement. Uh -huh. Equidad es la primera, estado de equidad. Ok, ok. Ok, more or less, para en términos ahí financieros de contabilidad, ¿cómo sería? Equity statement. Ajá. El estado de cambio capital. Ok, estado de 
cambio de capital o patrimonio. Ok, yeah, yeah, sure. Estado de patrimonio o equidad. Yeah, really nice. Thank you, Jorge. Ok, what about this one? Yeah, Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Estado general. Balance yeah. general, perdón. Ok, yeah, sure. Es un balance general, really good. What about this one? Profit. Profit. Yeah, thank you, Mary. Ganancias. What about this one? Fire. Uh, despido. Yeah, sure. Despido. <laughs> okay, what about this one? Hire. Contratación. Yeah, sure. Contratación. Acá es cuando te contratan y acá cuando te despiden. I hope that all the time you hire, right? No fire. Okay, this one, fire, it could be a misunderstanding with a fuego, o que agarró fuego algo, pero en this case es despedido, fire. Okay, nice. Income statements, equity statements, balance sheets, profit, fire, hire. Okay, nice. Right now, we're gonna see the gerund, ING form. Okay, vamos a ver el, el gerund. But I wanted to show you something really important. El gerundio acá, chicos, todos creo que lo conocemos. Agregamos ing to the verb, right? Agregamos ing al verbo. Por obligación tiene que ir the verb be, am, is, or are. Para utilizar esta fórmula. Que eh, cuando agregamos ing, ¿qué significado le da a este verbo? Working. ing form. A el ando trabajando. Ok, yeah, sure. El ando, el endo y el yendo. Ok, en ese caso, work, trabajar, working, trabajando. But all the time you're going to use the verb be am, is, or are. I am working now. Ok, let's see. What does it mean I am working now? Yo estoy trabajando ahora. Ok, thank you. Eh, what about this one? Eh, let me see, Marvin. It is raining. It is raining cat and dog. And dogs, yes. What does it mean? Rain. Lloviendo. Lloviendo. Está lloviendo? Lloviendo. Okay, ¿qué está lloviendo? It is está lloviendo cats perros y gatos. And... <laughs> okay, that's literally, yeah, really good. Está lloviendo. lloviendo sapos y culebras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, like this. Eh, this is an idiom. Esta es una frase idiomática, pero quiere decir que está lloviendo. Como. Horrible. Yeah, muy fuerte. Strong. Horrible. Oh. Strong, yeah. Cool. Okay, the last one. Uh, Marlon, read the last one, please. We are watching a movie. Okay, what does it mean? Estamos viendo una película. Okay, thank you. Really good. Estamos viendo. Okay, as you see, guys, all the time we're going to use the verb be, am, is, or are. ¿Conocen alguna otra forma de utilizar el ing o solo esto? That's the, this one, on this one. Um, uh, tell me. Teacher, question. Yeah, tell me. Please. Creo que es cuando le, le, le damos, por ejemplo, algo agregamos el ING y decíamos I'm going eh, más o menos me recuerdo I'm going going to going to uh -huh, I'm going to y pupusa por decir algo ok, yeah, it's a future time, right? it's a future uh -huh. yeah, sure, ok, thank you, Marlon también ahí para hablar un futuro utilizamos ING con going to I am going to eat pupusas, I'm, I'm going to teach English, whatever. Yo voy a. Ok, muy bien, nice. Que se usa para pelos cortos. 
Ok, I'm sorry, Jose. Que se usa para periodos cortos. Ok, yeah, yeah. para Con periodos two. cortos, ok, nice. Eh, eh, es el present progressive. Acá lo utilizamos para periodos cortos. I am working now, for example. Estoy trabajando ahorita from 8 to 10, desde las 8 hasta las 10. Es un periodo corto del día. But I'm doing the action, right? Okay, this is present progressive. But today class, I'm going to show you uh, another way to use the ING or German forms. Vamos a ver en esta clase eh, otra forma de utilizar este ING form. Algunas le llamamos gerunds y otras infinity. Okay, let's uh, pay full attention to this because it can get confused with something, right? Okay, este sí lo comprenden, present progressive. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, nice. Okay, veamos acá. Eh, ese presente progressive también lo podemos utilizar en el past progressive tense. Solo que en vez del verbo to be in present, we're going to use was or were in the past. For example, uh, let's see Miguel Angel read this one. Okay, uh, we were painting the fans. Yeah, now in Spanish. Uh, pintamos la, la fachada. Okay, okay, yeah. Pero acá, pintamos, eso lo, we painted. Pero acá, we were painting. Uh, nosotros pintábamos. Nosotros? Pintábamos. Pintando. Eh, estábamos, eh, nosotros pint estuvimos. estuvimos pintando. Ok, yeah, really good. Nosotros estuvimos pintando eh, defense, la fachada o esa valla, right? Ok, muy okay. bien. Entonces, as you see here, estábamos pintando in the past, right? Ok, an ongoing activity, basically. Ok, the second example, Daisy, can you read it, please? I okay, this one. Okay. Eh, tengo que hacer un ejemplo. Con... No, no, no. Just, just read the, this example. Just read it. Ah, perdón, really. Okay. I was talking interrupt. Interrupted. 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 Yes, really good. Okay, now, now in, in, in Spanish, please. Uh, I was talking when. Um, nosot yo interrumpí eh, <laughs> la llamada. <laughs> okay, okay, more or less, more or less. Let's see this, Daisy. Yo estuve. Estaba interrumpiendo. Hablando. Yeah, hablando. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Daisy. You can do it. Don't worry. Yo estaba hablando. Cuando. Cuando. Yep. El. Interrumpió. 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 Yeah, really good. Yo estaba hablando cuando él interrumpió. Muy bien, Daisy. Really good. As you see here, podemos utilizar the progressive tense in present and in the past. In presente, with the verb be, am, is, are. In the past, with the verb be in the past. Was or were. Right? Uh, everything is clear about this. Yep. Yeah. Teacher, perdón, ¿a qué se refiere a ongoing activities? Ah, ongoing activity before another activity. Ok, mm -hmm. eh, esta básicamente es un, eh, estaba haciendo esta actividad cuando se metió otra actividad. Ah, ok. A eso se refiere. Si usted ve, eh, yo estaba hablando cuando él me interrumpió. En ese proceso, uh -huh. yo estaba hablando, me metió en otra acción. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, I would like to ask you this, guys, because uh, I really need that you understand. Okay, this 
progressive si sí, el hombre de este tiempo progresivo no lo vamos a confundir con lo que viene everything is clear or do you have a question about this el de pas el de pas progressive tense eh, only only read eh, was or where eh, yeah. ma, plus present participle okay. es como la fórmula ok ok Plus, para poder escribirlo. Yeah, yeah, sure. Ok, like this, Wendy. For example, let's see this. Ok, give me a minute. We got all of these verbs. Tenemos todos estos verbos. Read, drink, knock, eat. Vamos a tomar esto de referencia. Ok, read, ¿cómo sería el progresivo? Read. Reading. 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 Ok, what about drink? Drunk. Progressive. Drink. Drinking. 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 Yeah. What about this one? Knock. Knock. Knocks. Knocking. 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 Yeah. Knocking. Eat. Eating. 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 Solo agregamos ING y estamos formando, leyendo, eh, fumando. Noqueando, no, right. Mm. Esto es tocando. <laughs> ok. Eh, eating, comiendo. Ok, to, comiendo, right. Entonces, para que se formule esto. Ok, I'm gonna share. Ok. Ok. Here we go. Vamos a compartir acá la, la pizarra. Así que, I hope anybody can see this. Vamos a ver los progresivos. For example, we're going to uh, take an example of this verb. It. It. En progresivo sería eating. Right? Okay. Ustedes, si es en presente, tienen que utilizar el verbo to be. Verb be in the present, que es am, is, the are, por obligación. Yep. Si es en pasado, vamos a utilizar el verb be. En el pasado, was or were. Yep. For example, let's see. Uh, I am uh, reading the Bible, for example. I am reading the Bible. This is an example in the present or in the past. This one. Present. 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 ¿Cómo sería el pasado? Yo estaba leyendo la Biblia. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? I was. I was. Reading. Reading. Bible, right? Okay, like this. So, what it changed, right? Cambia solo el verbo to be. Si estamos hablando in the present, we're going to use the verb be in el presente. Si estamos uh, hablando in the past, we're going to use the verb be in the past. It's clear? Yes. Like a, like a Coca-Cola, like horchata. Wendy, <laughs> what's happened, Wendy? <laughs> so, teacher, la, la, la. La otra forma de usar el ING es en el pasado, en pocas palabras. Ok, yeah, sure. Pueden utilizarlo en presente o en pasado. Este es progresivo. Necesito que comprendan esto para pasar a lo siguiente, que es, basically, uh, the using of ING. Ok, Wendy. Eh, you... Teacher, los verbos, los verbos, o sea, cuando vamos a hacer la oración o la okay. frase, Yeah. Eh, siempre va a cambiar el I am por el was okay. y, y se le va a agregar el en ing al verbo. Yeah, sure. For example, when, give me a verb. Deme un verbo, Wendy. Vamos a ver. Eh, quiero ver. Runner. Correr. Ah, run. Run. Okay, run. run. Eh, ok, entonces acá sería running. Running, right? Right. running like uh -huh. this. Ok, un ejemplo de ello sería when he is running. 
with with for example right okay ahora en el pasado como sería when when the where 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 or what ajá en este caso Wendy es es señorita entonces es como she ajá she was she was yes entonces acá was was is running running with her friends with her friends right okay I'm sorry friends okay with her friends Okay, like this, right? Okay, right now, Wendy, you got it? Yes, yes. Yeah, right? Okay, mm -hmm. esto es progresivo. ¿Por qué es progresiva esta acción? Porque estamos haciendo una acción que tiene un tiempo prolongado. How come? Wendy is running with her friend. Wendy está corriendo con su amigo o amiga. Mm -hmm. Y la acción la está ejecutando, tuvo un tiempo prolongado, está teniendo un tiempo prolongado. Okay. Y pasa lo mismo, pero... In the past, right? Wendy mm -hmm. estaba con su amiga. Entonces tuvo un tiempo prolongado en el pasado. Por eso es progresivo. Yep. Okay. Okay, nice. You got it, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, like, uh, uh, what? Like a uh, orchara or like, uh, I don't know, cola champán. <laughs> you can. A little bit clear, right? Yeah. Tell me, Tatiana. Eh, una consulta. Eh, las reglas de ING, no, no recuerdo cuando hay que duplicar la consonante. No okay, sé cuál okay. es. En el caso de eating, no, no tiene que. No, no ya es N o M. Solo con las N o con las M, la mayor parte del tiempo. Por ejemplo, running, se notaron, tenía doble N. ¿Sí? Swim, swim, nadar. Y nadando sería double M, swim, me, right? Me. Yeah, good. Ok, cool. Entonces, uh, it, this, this is clear or <laughs> you get a question? Yes, thank you. Ok, good, nice. Ok, we're going to continue with this. And right now, uh, guys, we're gonna see the present perfect progressive. También existe esto, pero esto lo vamos a dejar más adelante for another module, right? Porque es más avanzado. Okay, esto es lo que me interesa. Okay, uh, we're gonna use ing like an infinitive, en infinitivo. ¿Cómo así que infinitivo? Sabemos que el ING significa ando y yendo, right? En este caso, no se va a significar eso. ¿Cómo así? Let's see. Eh, when we use like, the verb like, como give me a like, something like this, eh, we're gonna put the verb with ING. Vamos a poner el verbo que le prosigue con ING, right? For example, I like sleeping. I like sleeping. Acá no va a significar durmiendo, sino me gusta dormir. ¿Ya? Ok. Esto se le llama infinite. Exclusivamente con like, love, enjoy, don't like or dislike, hate. We're gonna add ing if we're going to have a verb after this. Si encontramos un verbo después de estos verbos, valga la redundancia, vamos a poner el que le preside con ing. ¿Por qué muchas veces we don't understand what the American people said? Porque no sabemos algunas cositas sencillas como esta. Por ejemplo, si yo digo que algo me gusta, I like comer pupusas, diría I like... I like, in, or I, la, I like eating pupusas. Eating pupusas, right? Y no estoy diciendo comiendo, sino me gusta comer. 
pupusas, uh -huh. pero exclusivamente con like vamos a poner el verbo que le preside con ing. Lo mismo pasa con love. Love significa amar, él solito es amar, pero acá, eh, this is an expression that is going to be, me encanta. I love reading in bed at night. ¿Qué diría esto entonces? Me encanta leer en la, en la cama de la noche. Ok, ok, muy bien, en la cama de la noche, right? Really good, nice. Ok, what about this one? Enjoy, what does it mean enjoy? Disfrutar. Disfrutar. Yeah, bien. Lo mismo pasa con enjoy. Si ustedes van a utilizar enjoy y después un verbo, pónganlo con ing. For example, Rodrigo. Read this one. I enjoy playing video games. Yeah, what does it mean? <coughs> Disfruto jugar videojuegos. Yeah, really good. En este caso, jugar. Jugar, no jugando. Muy bien, Rodrigo. Thank you. Ok, Carlos Mejía, can you read this one? Ok, can you read it, please? Ajá, Carlos. Estaba tomando nota, sorry. Ok, this one, this one. Um, I don't like getting up early. Early. Muy bien, really good. What does it mean, Carlos? Sorry? What does it mean in Spanish? ¿Qué significa ahí en español? No me gusta. Uh, okay, no me gusta. No me gusta levantarme. Temprano. Temprano, Early, sorry. Temprano. Yeah. temprano, yeah, really good. Okay, as you see here, guys, uh, I don't like. Ustedes también pueden utilizar dislike, dislike. Y pasa lo mismo, I dislike getting up early. No me gusta levantarme temprano. Dislike, es lo mismo que decir don't like. And the last one, hate. Esa es la palabra más peligrosa que hay. Ok, hate, haters. <risa> ok, what does it mean hate? Odio. Odiar. Odiar, ok, odiar. Eh, esta la vamos a utilizar como ejemplo. Marvin, eh, can you read it, please? I hate washing the dishes. Ok, what does it mean? Hate. Uh -huh. Sería, yo odio lavar de trastos. Yeah, yeah, really good. Entonces, lavar, no lavando, ¿verdad? Siempre que encontremos love, enjoy, don't like, or hate, or like, vamos a utilizar el verbo que le preside, ¿con qué? Ajá. Verbo en forma ING. ING, yes, really good. Entonces, a eso se le va a llamar infinitive, infinitivo. Infinitivo, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, after like, love, enjoy, don't like, and hate. Okay, it's clear? All of this is clear? Yeah? Okay, I hope so. Okay, right now we get a short uh, meaning or. Okay, I need somebody to help me to read it, please. Marlon, Ernesto, go ahead. Because of the time, we're going to run quickly, right? Go ahead, Marla. A jero is formed by adding ENG to verbs. Yeah. It functions as a noun. The jero yeah. is commonly used after quite a few different verbs. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Really good. Basically, a student, a jero. El gerundio se forma agregando el ing, que ya dijimos, ando yendo. Pero su función es como nouns, como nombre. En el caso infinity, no se va a significar ando yendo, sino como nombre. Por ejemplo, me gusta comer pupusas. 
me gusta sería el verbo y comer nouns, right? The gerund is commonly used after a quite different verbs. Y en algunas ocasiones el verbo se va a utilizar de diferente forma cuando tenemos algunos verbos como like, hate, enjoy, dislike, don't like, and so on, right? Okay, nice. Let's see. We're going to see this is really, really important for you to understand. Okay, we got the using gerund, right? This is a kind of boring, guys, but we have to do it. Okay, ni modo. Carlos Alfonso, can you read this one? Hey, DJ. Running, running is a good way to explore it. To explore it. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, as you see here, ¿qué pasa acá? Eh, el primer verbo que encontramos está ing. ing. Running. ¿Qué significa acá? Traduzcamos esta eh, oración. Ajá. Ajá, Fabricio, can you help me? Corriendo es bueno para, para ir a explorar. Ok, ok, nice. Ok, but in this case, running... Correr, es correr, 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 Subject, como un subject, como un subject, al inicio vamos a poner running is a good way to explore, El, eh, como un objeto, right? Correr es una buena forma de explorar, una buena forma de, manera de explorar. Ok, bien, running, también lo podemos utilizar como un object of a verb, for example, he likes running, que ya dijimos. Acá eh, funciona como un object o un, como un nombre. Por ejemplo, a él le gusta correr, no como verbo. El verbo sería likes, right? Eso es lo que vamos a ver. Eh, also, we can use gerund uh, as an object of a preposition. Después de una preposition, we're going to use ing, aunque no signifique ando yendo. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Cuáles son las prepositions? Of, by, uh, what else? Because, through, and so on. For example, this one. Uh, let me see, Wendy, help me to read it, please. I am a taking, a taking, taking of running. Of running, yes, really good. In Spanish? Yo estoy... Eh, Thinking, corriendo, thinking no fetish. Thinking? Pensando. Pensando en correr. En correr, muy bien. Entonces, ah, okay. acá, ya este sería el gerundio eh, ando yendo. Acá sería un gerundio como un otro preposición. You got it? Sí, es una preposición. Ya, después okay. de esta preposición, vamos a Ok, as a subject complement, también como un complemento. For example, this is uh, really nice. Okay, let's see, uh, Carlos Enrique. Can you help me to read it, please? We're going to run quickly because of the time. Yeah. My name is Tony. Okay, yeah, sure. In this case, guys, as a compliment, right? Here is almost the same. My new hobby is running. Mi nuevo pasatiempo es... Pasatiempo, correr. Es correr. No es corriendo. Si no es correr, right? Okay, that's good. I don't know if you have a question about this. Question? No questions? Okay, very good. If you don't have any questions, uh, we're gonna continue with today's class, right? But uh, just for keeping in mind, 
tenemos el ING form como ando y yendo. Ahí sí necesitamos the verb be, is, am, or are, or was and were. And uh, we're going to use ING as an object, as an object, as a object of a preposition, and as a complement, right? Okay, here we go, guys. Um, okay, we're going to have a conversation that we're going to practice together, right? And in this case, all the previous information was in order to understand this conversation, right? Todo lo antes mencionado fue para comprender cómo se usan este ING form. Okay, I need somebody to help me to uh, practice this conversation. Two volunteers, Hugo and Milton. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who wants to practice? Okay, thank you, Fabricio. Somebody else? Hi, teacher. Okay, and Carlos, right? Okay, Fabricio, uh, you will be uh, Hugo, and Carlos, you will be Milton. Go ahead. Okay. okay. The Salis were not so good this month. Therefore, Increasing, increasing our sales is our target this month. Okay, good. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the incomes and outcomes have to be mandatory on um, each sale. Okay. That's a good idea. Also, I am interested in, in buying raw materials. So we say more money. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. I'm concerned about asking for money, but let's try it out. Try it out, yes, really good. Thank you guys, congratulations, nice work. Okay, let's see. Uh, this, we're gonna find this word in the gritas, right? Increasing, increasing. Analyzing, increasing, incrementar, incrementar, right? Analyzing, 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 yeah, uh -huh. solo analyzar, keeping, keeping, guardo, okay, okay, and buying, comprar. Comprar, muy bien. Solo comprar. Yeah, really good. ¿Por qué solo? ¿Por qué le ponemos a allí? Tenemos una preposición. In. Okay. In. Eh, aquí es otra preposición. En. Right. Getting. Getting. Getting a bank loan. Conseguir. What is bank loan? Okay, do you have an idea of what does it mean loan? Conseguir un préstamo en el banco. Oh yeah, sure, conseguir un préstamo en el banco. Loan es un préstamo. Okay, lo más hermoso que puede haber, right? Loan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, right. Okay, asking, asking. Asking. Pedir. Yeah. Ok, pedir, pedir, that's good. Pedir o preguntar, cualquiera de las dos. Pedir o preguntar. Mm -hmm. yeah. Preguntar. Ok, that's good. What about this one? Therefore. 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 Uh -huh. Do you have an idea? No idea? Therefore. It's mean por lo tanto. Por lo tanto. Muy bien. Uh, what else? This one. Raw, raw materials, raw materials. 
Solo raw significa crudo. Él solito significa crudo. Algo que está crudo. Raw materials. Pero con materials significa something else. Algo más. Materia prima. Yeah, really good. Materia prima. Materia prima. Recuérdenlo. Take note. Raw materials. Materia prima. Ok. Nice. All of this we know already. Okay, uh, I need somebody else who wants to practice these conversations. Volunteers. Go ahead, you can do it. Don't be shy. Hi. Okay, thank Hi, you, Jose. Jose and Daisy. Okay, uh, Jose, you will be Hugo, and Daisy, you will be Milton. Go ahead. Okay. The salads were not so good this month. Therefore, increasing our salads is our target this month. Do you have any idea about what to do? Sure. First, analyzing and keeping track on the income and outcome. How do we? Mandatory on a salt. Yeah. That's a good idea. Also, I am interested okay. in budging round, round, from materials. So we say more. Uh -huh. Money. However, okay. However, I prefer getting a bank loan for that, but I know that we can buy it with the income we get. Okay. I am concerned about asking for money. But let's three, three. Try it out. Try it out. Try it out. Yes, really good. Okay, amazing. Thank you, guys. Really good job. Okay, I need one couple. One couple, please. One otra pareja who wants to practice this conversation. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Somebody else. Wendy and Marvin, okay. Wendy, you will be uh, Milton and Marvin, you will be Hugo, go ahead. Okay, uh, the sales were not so good this month. There, there before increasing or sales is our target this month. Do you have any idea about that, what you do? About what sure. you do? Short phrase and marketing and keeping that on the incomes and accounts have to be mandatory, mandatory on each side. Okay. That's a good idea. Also, I'm interested in buying raw materials so we save more money. For where I prefer getting about a bank loan for that, but I know that we can pay it with the incomes we get. We get. We I'm get. concerned about asking for money, but let, but let try it out. Yeah, yeah really good. Thank you, thank you guys, really nice work. Okay, uh, basically as you see, this conversation is related to financial activity, right? They are talking about sales, increasing our sales, uh, first analyzing and keeping track, incomes, outcomes, good idea, good idea. Uh, teacher, uh, I, I understand 
Es sal, ¿qué significa? Desde uh, arriba, bueno. arriba. Ajá, de Hugo, al final casi. Hugo, al final, ah, uh, target. No, en el otro, en el otro Hugo, en el siguiente. En el siguiente <laughs> párrafo. Ok, ok. <laughs> Can you say that, that word, please? ¿Cuál palabra ah, es? Ah, no sé. Itch, tail, me imagino. Mandatory. Itch. Tail. Ah, itch, sí, itch. Ok, itch cells. Itch es cada. 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 Yeah, cada. Ah, cada sí. Ok, that's it. Itch cells, good idea. Raw materials. Ya se recuerdan que es raw materials, right? Eh, save more money, eh, ahorrar más dinero, uh, getting a bank loan, eh, incomes, eh, that's it, let's write it out. Y luego que nos atrevamos o lo intentemos. Ok, that's good. Ok, nice, good. Eh, ok, uh, basically we uh, read this conversation with our partner and that was a good activity for us but right now we're gonna jump to the next activity right we need to see if we really understand how to use the gerunds como utilizar el gerund okay as a subject we get it this after some verbs después de algunos verbos como prefer que otro verbo dijimos que íbamos a utilizar el, los, el que le precedía with ing Ajá. Was where? Was where? Ok. That's good. ¿Con qué otros verbos? Was where? Like, enjoy. Like, enjoy, hate, no. dislike, love. Yeah. Hate. Ok, okay cool. Nice. And also, uh, after a preposition. Después de una preposición. For example, in es una preposición. About, otra preposición. Vamos a utilizar el verbo with ing. Ok, let's see this example. As a last activity, then you're going to put into practice what you uh, have learned. Ok, let's see the first example. Uh, Williams, can you help us to read this one? Increasing of sales is mandatory. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Yeah, mandatory. What does it mean? Increasing? Increasing our sales is mandatory. Okay, yeah. Thank you, William. Okay, in, the, in este caso, increasing? Uh, incrementando. Infinitivo. En infinitivo, yes. En infinitivo no significa ando yendo, solo incrementar. Nuestras ventas es obligatorio. Obligatorio. Obligatorio, yeah. Really good, like this. Uh, let's see the second example. Uh, let me see, Jorge, help me to read it, please. Producing high quality good peace out tucker. Okay, thank you. Right now in Spanish. Uh, producir uh, uh, artículo. Mm, yeah. Alta calidad, producir en alta calidad es, es bueno, es nuestro objetivo, pero no, no yeah, entiendo. Ya, yeah. yeah, nuestro objetivo, nuestro objetivo, target es objetivo, pero no objetivo uh -huh. de, por ejemplo, objective, un objetivo así de nosotros, sino como, uh, how can I say this? Eh, I'm sorry. Como una meta, o algo como que una meta. Yeah, quiere yeah. lograr. Yeah, como una meta. Good, target. For example, eh, who play Free Fire? Who play Free Fire? Carlos Alfonso? Creo que sí, right? En Fabricio. <laughs> Everybody who smile. Eh, Jorge too, right? Okay, eh, when you see the guys, you know, with a gun, cuando vemos al tipo con una arma ahí, y aparece target. Target, que eh, tiene el objetivo ya apuntado. Entonces, este es target, es objetivo, cuando le apuntamos a algo. Entonces, producir eh, artículos de alta calidad es nuestro objetivo. 
como una meta. Muy bien, that's good. Eso es como un subject. ¿Cómo vamos a saber que es un subject? Va al inicio. El verbo va al inicio. Increasing, producing, right? Teacher, oh, yeah. una, una pregunta. En la oración que, que dije, books, ahí como se refiere a artículos, no es bueno. Ok, bueno, yeah, sure. Ok, es que acá, Jorge, goods eh, son bienes. Bienes, oh, okay. bienes, pero de artículos que nosotros fabricamos en nuestra empresa. Ah, mm, oh, ok. Pero en este caso, goods con S son bienes. Ah, oh, ok. Yeah. Ok, good. Teacher, este, entonces, good es bueno, ¿verdad? Yeah. Pero, entonces, buenos no sería solo agregar la S. No, sí. bueno y buenos. No. O, solo good. Solo good. Y si okay. le agregamos S, son como... Eh, es, un, eh, es un bien que usted eh, tiene. Por ejemplo, your uh, car, your house. Sí, ok, ok. Eh, whatever, right? Ok, uh -huh. good. Nice. It's clear? Yes. Yeah, cool. Ok. Okay, like horchata, that's good. <laughs> uh, we're gonna find the ing of gerunds after some verbs. Después de algunos verbos, este no lo mencionamos, prefer, pero también tiene la misma como que si fuese like. Okay, veamos acá. Acá tenemos this like, el que decíamos nosotros. Okay, let's see this example. Carlos Enrique, help me to read the first one, please. Okay, Carlos Enrique, are you there? I think that I prefer getting a bank, a bank loan. No, thank you, really good. I think, yo creo que... Prefiero... Eh, que, prefiero un préstamo en el banco. Un préstamo. Yeah, prefiero obtener <laughs> un préstamo en el banco. Okay, eso es lo que él considera. Muy bien, that's good. Thank you. Uh, right now, we're going to go with Marlon. Help me to read this one, Marlon. I dislike firing employees due to low incomes. 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 Yeah, really good. What does it mean? No me gusta. Que despidan empleados. Muy bien. ¿Debido? Por esto, por esto lo entendí. Ah, ok. Ok. Fire. Right. Ok, that's good. Due. Due to es debido a. Esto, eh, take notes if you want. Due to. Due to. Love income. Bajos. Bajos. Ingresos. Ingresos. Entonces, ¿qué pasa ahí con Marlon? No le gusta que despidan a las personas por bajos ingresos. Lo que pasó en this pandemic, right? Ok, that's good. that's good. Ok, we're going to continue with this after a preposition. Después de una preposición, también vamos a utilizar ING. I know this is a kind of boring, I feel like that, but we have to learn, right? Ok, let's see this example. Uh, let me see. Carlos René, can you help me to read this one? Ok, hey, the first one. Carlos René, are you there? Or you are getting pupusas? Or you are having dinner? I don't know. Hey, teacher. Hey, hello, Carlos, can you help me to read this one? Okay, go ahead. I'm, in, I'm interest, interest in buying raw materials. Okay, in Spanish? Yo estoy interesado en comprar materia prima. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Really good. Okay, as you see, guys, here, esta es una estructura un poco extraña, sumamente rara. Ya estamos hablando un poquito más avanzado. Yo estoy interesado interesado. Este está en pasado, como lo decimos en español y no nos damos cuenta. Yo estoy interesado. No, interesado, right? In buying. In, como lleva esta preposición, the next verb, we're going to have ing. Buying, raw material. Estoy interesado en comprar. No comprando. En comprar 
materia prima. Ok. Thank you, Carlos. And right now we're going to go to, let me see, Miguel Ángel. Help me to read this one, please. I'm concerned, I'm concerned about asking for money. Okay, that's good. And what, what does it mean? Um, estoy preocupado uh, sobre cómo pedir dinero. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, estoy, estoy preocupado sobre cómo pedir dinero. Muy bien, muy bien. That's good. Nice. Thank you, Miguel. Yeah. Okay, guys, I don't know if you have a question about this. Esto está bastante fácil de entender. Tenemos ING form, el gerundio con ING, ando y endo. Esa por obligación tenemos que utilizar the verb be, in the present or in the past. Is, am, or are, or was, and were. Ahí sí. Pero en este caso, si lo, si lo vemos al principio, si tenemos un verbo al principio, en ING está siendo usado como un subject. Después de algunos verbos como like, prefer, dislike, uh, love, right? eh, hate y otros que vimos, vamos a poner el verbo que le preside with ING. Also, we're going to use ING after a preposition. In, on, eh, about by, en, y otras preposiciones. Muy bien. Ok, what we're going to do right now? We have to complete the conversation with the jurum for forms of the verb. Then we're going to compare, right, with a partner. Ok, let's see this, guys. You're going to have one minute to take a look at this. Vamos a echar un vistazo a esto. Y tenemos this verb, ask, Give, pay, have, provide, get, hire, and sell. ¿Qué va a pasar con estos verbos? Vamos a tener que ponernos with ing. Ok, en cada una de estas questions and answers. Ok, take a look at this. Echemos un vistazo a esto. Y one minute y luego vemos cuál encaja en cada uno. Ok, go ahead, one minute. Okay, ask is meaning um, preguntar o pidiendo, give o giving, dar, pay, paging, pagar, have or having, tener, eh, providing, proveer, get o getting, eh, obtener o conseguir, hiring, es contratar. Selling, vender. Okay, nice. Okay, are you ready? Or you need more time? Do you need more time? Repeat, sell, teacher, in Spanish. Okay, this one. Okay, we got uh, the verb. Ben, vender. Ah, this one, selling, vender. Mm -hmm. Vender. Vender. Vender, ah, okay. Vender, vender. <laughs> okay. More questions? Do you have any questions? No, right? Okay, nice. Okay, let's get started with this activity. Uh, somebody who wants to break the ice with the first one. Who wants to break the ice? Do you where it starts giving giving to Christmas weekend off. Okay, no. okay, that's good, Wendy. <laughs> nice, cool. <laughs> Are you sure, Wendy? We got yeah. the idea, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having. Okay, having uh, or having. Yeah, sure, having. But you get the idea. Yeah. I like uh -huh. it, I like it, right? 
<laughs> okay, Oops. thank you, Wendy. Oops. <laughs> what about the answer? I prefer. Paying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paying them to work one more week plus a bonus. Plus a bonus. Esta palabra es. Eh, I don't know. Eh, no sé, es muy hermosa. Plaza bonus, right? Plaza bonus. Cuando la escuchamos, nosotros nos sentimos, you know, fall in love, enamorados. Y, ok, like this, right? Ok, pain, really good. The second one. Ok, who wants to do it? Are you interested in giving? Providing. Providing, giving, ok. Okay, let's see. Giving, right? Giving. Yeah, that's good. What about the answer? Yes, I am. Yes. Do you have? Okay. Growing. I love. Growing. With ing at the end. Getting. Uh huh. The, the last one that you said, Fabrizio. Providing. Providing. Okay. Providing. Providing. Providing yeah. some. Okay. Uh, really nice. Number three. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Rodrigo. Ready? Number three. Okay. Number three. <laughs> <laughs> it says. It's in a Uh -huh. Paying salary to employees. Uh -huh. Okay, but, but we just paid already. No, just uh, yeah. Get up. Uh, Getting. Okay, okay. Yeah. Rodrigo, are you agree with Fabricio? Get in. Get in, yes. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. really good. Getting salaries to employees each month is our priority, right? Eso es lo más genial de las empresas. Eh, la prioridad de ellos es pagarnos. Okay, uh, we're going to continue with uh, the answer of this. Okay, William. Read and complete the, this exercise. Kidding. Creo que ahí sería. Ok. Y ya está. Hiding. Hiding. Otra vez, ¿qué? <ríe> Otra vez, ok, ok. No se puede repetir. No, quiero ver. Hiding. Hiding. Hiring, hiring, como se puede. Hiring. Hiring, yeah. Hiring. Okay, uh, William, can you read the whole sentence, please? I, to I totally agree with that. Besides. 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 Mm. This hey. one. <laughs> eating, eating, eating. Hiring, hiring. Hiring. Hiring new workers has to be another one. Another one, really good. Let's put you here, Jaime, right? That's Hiding. it, William. Thank you. Okay, uh, the last one. Who wants to help me with the last one? Asking. Asking. Ah, asking. <laughs> asking. <laughs> okay, that's good. Let's see, let's see. Asking, uh, what is the other one? Okay, asking, yeah. Okay, Mauricio, can you read the question, please? Uh, are you worried about asking the bank for the new loan? Okay, that's good. Thank you. Eh, acá le pregunta si está preocupado por pedir el préstamo en el bank. Eh, ahí tenemos a Jorge and other guys that work in the bank. ¿Verdad, Jorge? No tenemos que preocuparnos por eso. Eso es lo más genial que hay. I like Esa preferencia. I receive money, right? <laughs> <laughs> ok, <good. laughs> Ok, veamos acá. The, the, the last one. Not really. What about this one? Telling. 
Selling. Selling. Selling? Are you sure? Yeah. Selling. <laughs> okay. Selling. Carlos René, help me to read this one, please. Not really. I'm more concerned about selling the new products to pay the employers. Thank you. Really nice. Amazing. Congratulations, guys. Now you are able to understand how to use ING as an infinitive or as a general right, as a subject, after some verb and after a preposition. Nice. Cool. Right now we're going to expand your listening comprehension. Today we are going to basically, um, no vamos a escuchar un audio, ahora we're going to watch a video, right? I'm bring you a video. Nice. Okay, let's see. Okay, give me a chance. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Cash flow refers to the movement of cash into or out of an account, a business, or an investment. When cash inflows exceed outflows, this is generally considered to be a sign of good financial health both for individuals and companies. Ed makes his living running Ed's carpets. For Ed, cash flow is essential to the survival of his business as well as his personal finances. Having ample cash on hand ensures that Ed can pay his employees, his creditors, and himself on time, keeping the business afloat. The same goes for Ed. He needs enough cash in his personal bank account to pay for his house, his car, and other personal expenses. Whether we are talking about Ed or his business, there are generally three types of cash flows. One, operational cash flows refer to cash received or spent as a result of a company's business activities. For example, a business like Ed's Carpets brings in cash by selling carpets and sends cash out to pay employees and suppliers. Similarly, Ed pays himself a salary providing cash flow to his personal account. Cash will flow out to pay for his expenses such as food and housing. Two, investment cash flows refer to cash received or spent through investing activities, basically the purchasing and selling of assets that will help grow the business, or in the case of Ed, assets that will help increase his net worth. Three, financing cash flows refer to cash received through debt or paid out as debt repayments. For a company, issuing stock, paying down debt, and repurchasing shares would count as part of financing cash flows. For Ed, financing cash flows include any cash coming from loans or other types of debt, as well as payments going to pay down debts. Its obligations, it will experience a cash flow crunch. To avoid insolvency, Ed will have to arrange some type of financing or bridge loan. A similar situation in Ed's personal accounts would also have disastrous effects that could lead to personal bankruptcy if the cash flow crunch persisted. For this reason, it is important that businesses and individuals manage their cash flow carefully and set aside emergency reserves to cushion any unexpected events. Okay, nice. What did you understand about the video, guys? Okay. I'm sorry. What did you understand about the video? A word. At least a word. One word. Que no sea cash flow. <laughs> okay. Tell me a word. Uh -huh. Tatiana. Um, um, incomes. Incomes, really good. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay, what about you, Wendy? Um, page, page, emple, empleados, employees. Ah, employees. Employees. Okay. Um, employees. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> say, say that again when the employees. Employees. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. What about you, Daisy? Did you get some work? Okay. 
Okay, uh, turn on the microphone, Daisy. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. ¿Qué palabra entendió de todo el video? Aunque sea una o dos o tres. Uh, if you got ten, it will be better. Bueno, tenía employed, yeah. cash flow, yeah. um, investment, 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 um, only. <laughs> only that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, what about only. you? Okay, thank you so much. What about you, Jose Ángel? Things. Okay. Uh, income statement. Ah, income statement. Okay. Okay. Statement, nice. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, uh, Jose Angel. Nice. Congratulations, guys. I know that you understand at least. 50%. That's amazing. <laughs> but we're going to continue with today's class. Uh, the video was related to the cash flow. Uh, how do we use the money or the company use the money, right? Okay, that's good. Let's see. Right now is your turn, guys. And you have basically created a conversation about, you know, the important step of cash flow. Okay, you're gonna create a conversation. In este caso, no vamos a poner límites, but it has to be of your company. If you can use the cash flow cycle, it will be fine. Si quieren utilizar el ciclo del, del flujo de efectivo, está nice. It could be personal or from your company. Puede ser personal o de su compañía, ¿sí? Uh, you can include gerunds. Pueden incluir gerunds. Uh, son las palabras con ing. Okay, go ahead. We're gonna practice in groups again, right? I know that you like to work in groups. I don't know why, but that's good. Okay, here we go. Don't be shy and good luck. Try to make a conversation using the cash flow cycle, right? El ciclo del cash flow. Para ustedes, a nivel personal o de empresa. Whatever you want. Okay. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna wait for a while. Basically, the student is gonna work to create a conversation about the important step of cash flow cycle of your company. And also, they're gonna include gerund, right? Gerunds as an infinity, gerund as a present or past progressive, and gerunds as a, uh, with some verbs, as a subject, as an object, and after um, preposition. Okay, that's good.
Uh -huh. Y que mencionaba que class flows operation is for uh, sales o for production de items de de eh, company for new products new products uh -huh. for sale o para, ventas, para ventas en porque nosotros vamos a comprar para vender sí o sea, we we interested in buying raw material, the lácteos, business lácteos, como para ventas de lácteos. Uh -huh. Y ponemos una vaquita para que atraiga los clientes. Dairy products. Lácteos. <laughs> Okay, okay, hello guys. Are you working on it? Yeah, and we try to make it better. Okay, good. If you have uh, a question, I'm going to be here. Um, um, si yo tengo eh, eh, aquí vamos a ocupar el gerundio para explicar cada, cada uno de los procesos de flujo porque son importantes para. ¿Por qué son importantes los flujos de, de, de efectivo en la compañía, verdad? Yeah, in the company, in a personal way. Puede ser en la compañía o a nivel personal. Ah, ok. okay. Eh, utilizando el gerundio en algunas ocasiones. Por ejemplo, you can say, increasing money, it will be fine for my company. Es el ejemplo. Mm, ya, yeah. ok. Okay. Okay. No necesariamente todos van a ir con gerundio, sino que se incluye. Ah, oh, perfecto. Okay. Uh -huh. ok, nice. I don't know if you have a question so far. More questions? No. Por el momento no, solamente esa, esa era la duda que yo tenía. Ok, okay, okay. okay continue working. Uh, try to make that conversation, right? Ok, I'll see you in a minute. Ok, perfecto. Son 120 horas en los tres años, si no, no renuevan nada. La, la credencial. Qué eh, difícil. Hoy está bien, bien de negocio. Really? Sí. <laughs> El teacher. Estamos agarrando ideas, teacher. Estamos buscando las etapas de flujo de efectivo, teacher. Okay, okay, that's it. The cash flow is the most important thing. Okay, you are getting ideas. <laughs> sí, está. Aquí tengo alguna que dice, la fase 1, invertir dinero propio en el negocio, dice. Fase 2, el negocio aún no es autosuficiente y no vive dinero de él, dice. Fase 3, el negocio empieza a generar algo de dinero, dice. La 4, la etapa de inversión. Así está. Pero como esas son como los... Sí, es que estoy más allá. Más como, como los pasos por el, porque ese no... Ajá. De ahí quedaron cinco flujos. Ya, ya, ya. Ahí estoy perdido, teacher. Okay, okay. ¿Cómo, la, ¿Cómo la vamos a formular? Ok, uh, remember that I need a conversation. Que se incluyan los tres, ¿no? But in the conversation you can include a... Uh, error. En la conversación se puede incluir el error. ¿Sí? Eh, en, no. en, no en todas, por ejemplo, you can say, 
Hey, hello, Carlos. How are you? I'm fine. Hey, how about your business? It's an example. Eh? Y Carlos me dice, um, eh, I need, I need to increase my, what, my income because um, I'm getting a bank loan. Por ejemplo, entonces se quiere, ya utilizamos el gerbo. No en toda la conversación, pero sí sale ahí a reducir. Eh, you can use the cash flow as an example. Pueden utilizar el cash flow como ejemplo. Eh, ¿qué, qué, ¿Qué es el cash flow? Es el flujo de efectivo que puede tener una empresa o nosotros como personas. Mm. Ok. Thanks, Ich. Entonces, por ahí va la Eso cosa. Como, como una idea, más o menos. ¿no? Entonces, sí, sí. Ok, ya te diría. Gracias, Okay, guys, uh, continue working on that. Uh, I'll see you in a minute, right? Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, teacher. De vehículos para nuestros vendedores, algo así. Chicos, te si piensas en grande. ¿Cómo dice? <laughs> Como dice Carlos. Y que estamos este, interesados en adquirir cámaras refrigerantes para, para incrementar la venta, ¿verdad? O expandir el negocio. Cámaras refrigerantes y los vehículos para los vendedores. Vaya, para, para todo eso ya contamos con un capital, ¿verdad? Ahí es donde sacamos el capital el de la inversión es, o sea, que ya tenemos algo de efectivo, algo de dinero como para, para comprar todo eso. Entonces podemos incluir ahí el capital no. y la no. cantidad de cuánto más o menos tenemos, una, una cantidad X. Ajá. En adquirir, ¿cómo se escribe? Tú. A, C, Q, U. A, C, Q. A, C, Q, U, I. U, I. R, I, N, G. Acquire. Acquire. We are attending to acquire. Acquire. Okay. En adquirir refrigeradores. Refrigerator. Sería este, cámara Equipo. refrigerante sería como refrigerant chambers. Algo así. No, refrigerator. Eh, no es refrigerator. Es como es cámara refrigerante. Es que ese es solo refrigeradora normal, pero si él Ajá. quiere. Refrigerant. Yo le he puesto, we are interested to ask him refrigeration sí, como ahí, equipo de refrigeración. Ah, sí, está bien. Está bien ah. Ajá. Como equipo de refrigeración y camiones. Algo así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Es correcto. Okay. Así les entendí. Trucks. Trucks. Ajá. Trucks. ¿Cuánto le vamos a prestar al banco? <risa> <risa> eh, ya tenemos capital. <risa> A ver, Carlos. O podríamos poner, contamos con un capital de tanto. Uh -huh. Tener un capital Ajá. propio de, ah, de, que, que de 20 mil. Ah. Ajá, la empresa tiene 20 mil dólares, sí, pero necesitamos 40 por ponerle un número. Entonces, estamos Tenemos buscando. un patrimonio de tanto, así de ahí. Ajá. Ah, tenemos, no, capital sería ahí. 
o nuestro capital social, que ya se entiende que es tu dinero en efectivo, tu dinero propio o, o tu inversión o lo que los accionistas dan, tenés tu dinero, tu capital social de 20 mil. Y vamos con un préstamo del banco por 20 mil para que hagamos los 40 mil que ustedes necesitan. ¿O qué necesitamos para el negocio? Ajá. Qué bárbaro. Sí, son. Uh -huh. The company uh, sería The company has como que cuenta. Sí, ¿verdad? Has uh -huh. 20,000 dólares. Sí, ahí está el profesor. <risa> en... Pásele el mando ahí. <risa> y necesitamos, vea. Ah. Ir a Bank Loan. Ah. Uh -huh. En... Oh. Ahí pueden utilizar de Gerber. En... Pedir uh -huh. as, a -S -K, as, as sin el need, borramos el need en asking pedir en uh -huh. asking ing ahí punto put together as <laughs> en que se traba ajá uh -huh. Asking for a bank loan. For uh, el número ya. Yeah. 40.000 mil dijeron compañeros o cuánto o 20 mil. 20, 20. 20 de préstamo y 20 de capital propio. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Bank loan. Loan, L O A N. Yeah. L O A N. Loan, Loan. Yeah, with A. L O A N. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Without. L O A N. Hit the la G. Yeah. No, like this. It's okay. Veinte mil. ¿Cómo se dice? Twenty thousand. Okay, that's good. Okay, continue working. I'll see you in a minute. Hurry up. Thank you. Thank you. Five, five minutes more. Hello, hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Todavía no lo hemos practicado, pero. Okay. <laughs> But go ahead, you can practice uh, with me. I'm going to be here, don't worry. Teacher, este, ¿cómo se dice, por ejemplo, en el caso de venta, llegar a la meta? Uh -huh. Meta obligatoria. Ok. Sé que obligatoria es mandatory, pero para decir meta obligatoria. Es target mandatory. Target. Yeah, target. 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 Okay. Okay. That's good. Com comienzo con K con José, con Jorge, perdón. Dale, dale. Okay. okay. Jorge, hello Jorge. How the sales going at the, your job? Ah, uh, this moment is so hard because sales are down a lot. The class falls so little. We need a financial class for. We think concerning asking for bank law. We don't like firing any employee. We are thinking the next month will be better. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo, how you, how you, no, how are you company this month? This month we had problems. We couldn't work in quarantine. I really love fixing cars and motorcycles. So I called some friends and gave my service because they were working in the seal. 
This month, I've been working in my house, fixing motorcycle, and helping some friends. And William, how were your company this month? Uh, this month, uh, the sales is um, the mandatory target uh, has has not been archived. And, and, and I work sales in the first three months of the years where about the mandatory large target is very good. Okay. Um, but uh, this month uh, is is bad. Okay, okay. William okay. Okay. And you, Marvin? A mí no me preguntaba. Okay. Um, the sales are down for the pandemic, uh, but they still uh, pay you salary the employers. When the pandemic passes, uh, this will improve. Meanwhile, we are save a look for ideas to sell and get help. Okay. Really, really nice work, uh, students. I like it. Okay, basically, uh, I understood everything what you said. That's amazing. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to go to another group uh, and continue talking about your job, uh, right? But in English, please. Okay, bye. 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 La mayoría mala, no. No he conectado. No, la verdad que no. Hi, teacher. Ahí está ya el, el discurso. I'm going to translate it into English in your mind, right? <laughs> okay, yes. let's get started with this. Ahí, bueno, tendría que comenzar. Marlos. Si quieres. Como él es, él es el, el, el que comienzo conoce. preguntando. Ajá, exacto. Ok. Bueno, una, una pregunta más. Y solo esto sería así. La... Ahora le podemos meter un poquito, ¿verdad? Es que Marlon, como es contador, le, le ha metido más, más salsa. <risa> okay. ok. ¿Está bien ahí o, le, o le, hay que ponerle más? No, está bien. No, ¿Qué está? Ah, no, ya. Okay. It's okay right now. If you can start, let's go. We can do it. Okay. Go ahead, Marlo. Marlo. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Fabricio. How does the cash flow work in your company? As I uh, we have a balance of income and expense. It shows the cash that has been generated and used in operating, invest, investing, and finance activities of the company yeah. okay that's good amazing <laughs> okay that's good it's short but it's nice i like it okay right now with carlos media hello carlos how does the cash flow work in your company we have a balance of income and expenses such adapt has been generated and used in the operation and financing activities of the company. Okay, really nice. 
And tell us your hello, Marlon. How does the cash flow work in your company? Okay, Marlon. We have a balance on income and expense. It shows the cash that has been generated and use it in the operating, investing, and financing activities of the company. Okay, nice, good, good work, right? That's so good. I like it. Thank you, guys. Amazing. It's really long, right? But nice. I mean, short. <laughs> Uh, okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna go to the other groups and I'll see you in a minute. Thank you so much. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Me interesa en comprar todo esto. Vamos a poner. Y hacer también que estamos en la reunión anual presentando un nuevo proyecto de inversión. Okay. Uh -huh. Puchica, esto, estos mis compañeros son bien visionarios. <risa> <risa> Me siento como que estoy hablando con mis clientes. <risa> ok, guys, I, I would like to invest money on, on your company. Right? Ah. <risa> ok, are you ready? Yes. Ok, let's get started with this. Go ahead. Metati, empiece con la pregunta. <risa> Después de Daisy, ajá. What we need for cash flow in the company. Carlos. Okay, <laughs> okay we we intelligent in in buying cheese, milk, cream, cottage, and butter. We are intending to adquiring refrigerator refrigeration equipment and trucks. The company hey. has 20,000? 20,000, era? 20,000 dollars. And asking 20,000 bank loan. Okay. The objective to increasing sales be 60% of sales concerns therefore we will hire more employees employees really good nice good no vamos a dar trabajo a la gente <laughs> okay okay nice good job uh, this group what's amazing uh, this is a really really nice work because you're going to you're gonna get or hire more employees, right? That's amazing. Nice, good. And you're gonna go getting back along. That's good too. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you guys uh, for being here. Because of the time, we're gonna go to the last group. Yeah, I see you there, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, hello, hello, did you finish? Yes, yes. 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 I would like to say. I I started. Okay. Okay. Uh, the more common in the silence, there will be less fighter. If there are more income, there will be possibly of a salary increase. The lower the expenses of the company, we will not worry about getting the loan on the bank finance liquidity. Okay, cool. Thank you. Continue, wanna continue with this? Go ahead, Carlos. Teacher. Yeah. How to improve my salary certification? My sal my certification is payment of service at home. Also, I pay children to tuition. Tuition is 
colegiatura. For my salary, and I enjoy shopping with my my wife. We don't like to do more than than necessary. Okay, that's good, Carlos. Enrique. Nice work. I like it. Okay, what about you, Jose Angel? Go ahead. Right, it's so import, important the, that flow cash because yep. they generally Okay, I think Jose Angel got a little problem with the microphone or with the internet connection, but that's good, that's good. I understood, uh, Jose Angel, uh, what you said. That was amazing. Okay. Uh, we, we can to go buying the receipt. Okay. Okay, we lost uh, Jose. Okay, guys, thank you. Uh, we're gonna you, uh, go back to the main sessions. I'll see you there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys, that, that was amazing because you, uh, you were able to express your ideas about financial steps that so nice for me. I feel really proud of you, right? Okay, right now we're gonna run quickly and we're gonna pass the attendance list again. And let's see. Okay, give me a chance. Okay, let's see. Uh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla Vasquez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. Give me a minute. Uh, okay, William Alexander Martinez Enriquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Mejia Hernandez. Antonio. Present teacher. Bien, uh, Carlos Alfonso Alvarado Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, guys, unfortunately, time is over, right? Don't forget to work on the platform and do the homework for today's class, right? And uh, Wendy, I'm going to help you with the homework. Uh, and please, we have to finish all of that for this week. Tenemos que terminar todito para esta semana, incluyendo the final test, right? Okay, if you need, okay. I'm going to be there. Si necesitan ayuda, ahí voy a estar. A veces contesto quickly. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm going to help you. Don't worry. Okay, eh, that's it for today's class. Unfortunately, nos pasamos 10 minutitos, pero eh, era para aprender, así que ni modo, right? <laughs> so, but, uh, tomorrow I'm going to send you a coffee. <laughs> no, va a dejar el bus. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, I'll see. I go to the sleepy. You <laughs> kill me, yeah. Nice. Let me go to bed. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, todos. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sí, sí, okay. yo tomo rito. Okay. A conectarse ahí, Fabricio. <risa> bueno, ahorita te veo. A jugar Free Fire, van, dio cuarto. A dormir ya, niños. Antes de dormir. Temprano. 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 Temprano
Sí. <risa> ahorita empieza, ahorita empieza. <risa> Mínimo, nos vemos mañana, pues. Bueno, feliz noche. <risa> Bye.